Who doesn't like picking fresh fruit from their backyard? Pineapples are no different here in my Modesto, California Zone 9B garden. Yes, they're tropical, but I have a, a method that allows them to fruit and ripen a little earlier than they do in the, uh, in the tropics. Hello, my name is Jeff. Welcome to my tropical garden. If you like this type of video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. But yes, I, so I grow these pineapples and you notice a little something different about this pineapple. Well, one of the things I wanted to mention, I've done other videos uh, on how I uh, force my pineapples to ripen a little bit earlier than they would in the tropics uh, using calcium carbide. But you gotta be careful. And that is, you take a look over here. This is one of my pineapple plants. It's probably about, oh, probably three feet tall. This is actually the ideal size to force into flowering. Nice time of year, here, here we are in February. Um, and this pineapple plant, or pineapple plants, will produce, if I force them to flower right now, will produce a nice big pineapple such as this that I bought at the grocery store. This is about a three pound pineapple. However, in the fall, I did a video on how to force your plants to uh, fruit early, and I did it on a small one foot tall pineapple plant. And the result is, I've got a real tiny pineapple. Now this pineapple will ripen up and fruit, uh, be very sweet, but it's a lot smaller. Ideally, you want to, um, you want to force the pineapple to uh, set fruit when it's much bigger. One of them secrets is don't, um, unless you just want it for ornamental purposes, don't force your plants that are a foot tall to fruit. Wait until they're about two and a half or three feet tall and they will produce big fruits. Now I want to real quick go over how again how I force my pineapple plants to fruit. I use a product called Bangsite which is calcium carbide and what I do is I put a little bit of water in the crown down here in the crown and then I sprinkle about a teaspoon of this calcium carbide. Uh, it reacts to the water and gives off ethylene or acetylene gas which encourages the pineapple plant to set fruit early. Um, the shorter the time that my pineapples are before they start to produce fruit, the better because we get sometimes every couple of years we get a pretty hard freeze and it would probably cause major damage to a pineapple plant. So I, my goal is to get them to flower and fruit as soon as I possibly can. Some people will use an apple or a banana peel and they will put it in the crown area right there and cover it with a little bit of plastic and let the natural uh, gases from the uh, from the appeal of the uh, decaying fruit uh, will, will force the plant to fruit but ideally I use bang side it's much more quick and efficient you can get this off the internet it's used for uh, carbide cannons it so yeah you want to uh, you want to wait until the uh, the plant is much bigger. You don't want these little tiny guys. You though you can force them to fruit, but they'll put off micro-sized pineapples. This one was about a foot tall, and as you can see, it's a small pineapple. Again, it will be sweet when I ripen it. Finishes ripening. This is one I bought at the store for comparison, as I don't have any full-size ones, and that will be the size that comes off this one whenever I force it to fruit. So once again, my name is Jeff. If you like this type of video, go ahead and click the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. That way you get every one of my videos as they come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. You have a good day.